eaten well. Eggs, bananas, bacon. Not quite there yet, but. <laughs> Sorry to uh, all, all the vegetarians out there. No, no. We like our bacon. So, gonna get going here in a minute, out the door. It's <laughs> five to 10 inches of snow is on the way. Five to 10 inches is coming to Denver. So that's not abnormal. Very normal for Denver, Colorado this time of year. We get crazy spring storms. So that is on the way. Cover your plants. Cover your plants. Gotta do a little yard work before that comes. record. Alright, just doing some massage, blue emu, lotion, stretching in here in the sauna where it's nice and hot. Uh, just loosening those muscles, loosening those muscles. My soleus on my left leg is pretty tight and the, uh, my foot, my left foot, you know, it just kind of aches a little bit. Just aches. So I'm just trying to work it out, work it out, work it out. Use the heat to my advantage because uh, it's snowing outside. So, you know, I don't really want to leave this nice, <laughs> cozy sauna quite yet. <clears throat> Watch Mike or behind you. <laughs> he might not see you, buddy. He's gonna leave. Oh, I usually have a hard time by 10 a.m., but he's gonna get all wet. It's all wet. All right, YouTube family, finally the moment to open up one box. This box we are not going to open. Guess what this is for? I think it was Jim, shout out to Jim, bought a pair of running shoes for the next running shoe giveaway. These are ladies' shoes. That's right, ladies' running shoes. So we will definitely have at least one pair for the uh, next giveaway for a lady. So that's what's in this box. Thank you, Jim. I, I believe it was Jim. Thank you, Jim. Also, ladies and gentlemen, this box is from Nike. There are two pairs of running shoes in here. We are not going to open up both boxes, all right? We're only gonna open up one. Okay, here we go. You guys ready? You're gonna be shocked by the color. Ooh. All right, here we go. One, okay? We're gonna save the other one for the second video. Oh, we're, gonna hide. we're gonna hide that one. You guys ready? Okay. Dun, 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 dun. You guys wanna open? What's inside? What's inside? Show it to him. The Nike Terra Kiger 5 is now in the rotation. Oh my goodness. A trail running shoe from Nike. Pretty exciting. What do you guys think? I want one. 
It's be wild. And we're going live soon. Oh man, these are all of the questions from the last seven days via Instagram, email. Hit me up down. My email's down below. I probably will not, unless it's a really quick, quick answer, I probably won't be able to respond to you uh, via email. But I will put your question into the box for the next week's live stream, Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Mountain Time. Look at this, just like that, boom. And then I'm gonna pull, I just pull out of the box for like, 40 minutes and I, I try to answer as many questions as possible. So that's what the running shoe box is for. See you then. Another solid live stream. Race recovery was the main topic. Oh man, we talked a lot about the Boston Marathon actually. And that's happening on Monday. So excited. We talked about trivia that connects to the Boston Marathon. Pretty sweet stuff. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Upper right hand corner and okay. Gratitude always wins. Gratitude always wins. When gratitude is at the center of our being, really nothing can defeat us. Like you are, you are Superman. You are Wonder Woman. You can take on the world when you know no matter what comes your way. What challenge, what injury, what issue with your running shoes. We're going to talk more about that in a second. Gratitude wins the day. It, it, I'm telling you, it really, really does. And on the topic of gratitude, you know the story behind these Hoka Claytons that I bought off Craigslist for 20 bucks when I couldn't afford running shoes. If you haven't seen that vlog, go check it out, upper right hand corner. But I feel bad sometimes opening up so many running shoes in front of you guys. And I know like some people can't afford them. Honestly, like I don't, I don't, sometimes I buy running shoes for me, but a lot of shoes I buy for all of you to review for you and to test them out and to put them through the paces and to give you my thoughts. Well, it's the same case with these Terra Kiger 5s, which look pretty cool. They're pretty amazing, but we got to remain grateful. Why? Because guess what? People are sending me emails. They're sending me pictures of what they're running in. Are you ready for this? Brace yourself. This is what a gentleman in Slovenia is running in right now. He just ran a 36 minute 10K in these shoes. I think it was a, per, a PR for him. That's a great time. And uh, it breaks my heart and it makes me, I have not forgotten. I just want you to know, I have not forgotten about the running shoes scholarship idea. And uh, it's still in the works. I'm basically saving and categorizing the emails that I'm receiving. And then I need to come up with a system and some more time to basically uh, create a questionnaire for everybody out there that you know, is sending me these really difficult pictures to see uh, the shoes that they're running in. So here you go. These are three photos I believe that I, I received today. Um, man. And there you have it, right? The saying goes, pictures are worth a thousand words. Like not much else needs to be said. So I'm gonna keep fighting. I'm gonna keep fighting. I have an idea to help people, this running shoe scholarship idea, but I also have another idea that I'm gonna, I think, pitch to you soon, maybe even later today in the second video, 5 p.m. Mountain Time, I will show you the second pair of Nikes that arrived today. And uh, I'm just excited to keep fighting alongside you guys to chase down PRs, help people pursue their dreams to run in good running shoes. So that's the deal. That's the situation. Gratitude always wins. And like, yeah, would I prefer to run today instead of going to the pool, go to the gym and just stretch? And yeah, of course. But at least I have the opportunity to go somewhere to take care of my body, right? So gratitude always wins. Key word is going to be, of course, gratitude and the question of the day. I think I've actually asked this in the past, so this is a little bit of a, re a repeat, but here we go. How do you remain grateful through injuries, through bad running shoes, through bad races? What is your go-to mental strategy mostly for remaining grateful? And maybe you've never really been someone that, maybe you struggle with gratitude. That's fine. If so, go down below and read the comments. I bet there's going to be some good ideas that are shared. And I know this is kind of a, a bigger 30,000 foot question, but this is, a, it's kind of a nice big life question that we can all think about together. All right. So the gentleman in Slovenia, we're here for you. Can't buy you running shoes right now, but stay tuned. We're going to keep fighting together here on 
YouTube. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you in five. See you in five. See you in five.